Hi all folks, so I made my, um, if you want to use the USB OTG mode on your AT&T Galaxy S2 or the international version, um, you can make this jig. I have a video on it, probably a previous video was on how to make this jig. Basically, you take a female end of a USB expend extender where you can insert USB devices, and on the other end you get a micro USB and then you just uh, connect all the wires black, white, red and green and there's another like a shielding wire that you can connect together it doesn't matter you don't have to connect it but connect it anyways and then there's a, a pin 4 and pin 5 you just have to uh, solder it so they're shorted that's what I did that's all you need and then um, you insert it in here and your phone should say USB connector connected uh, USB device connected and you see that powers on and right now it, it can't read NTFS which is this one's formatted on um, but I'll be hacking the kernel for it in Xenomax OC kernel so watch out for that and you can connect the mouse let me connect the mouse real quick and uh, use it and you can connect various different devices um, see I can go to my applications and uh, this would be great. Um, this is going to be great for running Ubuntu later and uh, connecting other peripheral devices. And you should be able to connect like a whole bunch of cool stuff like USB monitor and all this other stuff. Um, I'm going to work on the Zenomax kernel, but I just wanted to show you that you can actually connect OTG devices or you can buy it uh, on Amazon. Um, but you can make your own like I did. It only took me, what, 10 minutes? Anyway, I just want to show you the AT&T version. By the way, it doesn't work on Samsung Galaxy, uh, sorry, Epic 4G Touch, the Sprint version, and the T-Mobile version just yet. Um, I'm still working on it. Um, but for AT&T, it should work on stock ROM or rooted ROM. So thanks, y'all. And uh, don't forget to um, subscribe and check out more cool mm -hmm. stuff. See y'all later.